Well, it's a joy to be back with you here on this Wednesday. And today, I want to remind us of a principle that we all know, but oftentimes we forget. And that is that God allows trials for a number of reasons, but one of the reasons is so that we can actually be prepared to help others. And the verse I'm referring to is 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 4. Who comforted us, comforteth us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble, by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. Now this verse is a very positive verse. What it says is, God is the God of all comfort, and he will comfort us in our tribulation. When he allows tribulation to come, some testings in our life, physical problems, disappointments, or maybe, as we've been talking about a lot, some of the things that are encroaching upon us in a culture that's continuing to be more anti-God and humanistic, or we may be having persecution just directly, whatever it is, God will comfort us. You know, what makes a trial bad is not maybe what we're suffering as much as how it makes us think and feel. If you're rejoicing inside and you're comforted and you have peace, well, the trial really is not a trial. It's caused you to look to the Lord, and yes, it may be a struggle to get through whatever you're getting through, but it is, it is not the kind of trial that brings you down. It lifts you up, and that's exactly what the Holy Spirit does. He's our comforter. He's the one called alongside uh, to encourage us and to lift us up, and God wants to comfort us on a regular basis, but there's a purpose in this. One of the reasons that he does allow trials is so that when we're comforted in specific trials, we are able to then very directly comfort others who are going through through the same kind of trial. I know for me, some of the things that we've been through, God has used that to be an encouragement to others. My son's brain tumor and then the subsequent issues that he's gone through, the fact that God did miraculously heal him and has enabled him through his difficulties has been a great help to me when people have uh, children or others that have some of these major problems with cancer and other disabilities or have special needs. I can comfort them having been in that same place and still in that same place in my life. I've lost my parents in death and they both died fairly early. Uh, and and uh, they were just 60, 65 and 72, and, and I can comfort those that lose godly parents. And on and on we can go. And so when we face different trials, when we go through hard times, keep remembering, God will comfort you if you look to him, not get bitter, not react. And God's going to use that to be a great blessing to many people.